Under our standard method of catching a hydrant for a forward lay, the apparatus will stop at the plug and the firefighter will exit the apparatus. The firefighter will pull the supply line with attached hydrant adapter as well as a hydrant bag of tools. This method may be used by an apparatus that is first arriving and notes a well advanced fire condition where continuous water supply will be immediately needed or by a secondary apparatus working to bring water to the attack apparatus. The firefighter will signal the driver to proceed for a forward lay and then begin making the necessary hydrant connections. Our standard deployment will utilize a 5 inch supply line off of the main steamer and a 2.5 inch ball or gate valve off the side outlet. The ball valve may be needed to add capacity to the system as well as to aid in bleeding off excess pressure following use. Once the hydrant is dressed, the firefighter will await the order to charge the hydrant. Two short blasts of the air horn from the attack apparatus. Under the front loaded method of catching the hydrant, the arriving crew may note a well advanced fire condition where a continuous water supply will be immediately needed. The apparatus will stop at the plug and the firefighter will exit the apparatus. The firefighter will deploy the five inch line and optionally, the hydrant bag of tools. Crews using this method as a general practice will not have a threaded adapter on the hose bed. The firefighter will drop the tools, wrap the hydrant, and proceed to the fire scene with the rest of the crew. This keeps the crew intact for immediate fire ground operations. The next, or later arriving apparatus, will stop at the plug and set up to pump the hydrant. The crew may deploy to the fire ground for operations, and the driver will make the necessary connections. The driver will take the end of the line left by the first apparatus and connect to the large diameter discharge, sending tank water downrange. The driver will then connect the hydrant to the intake, making sure to dress the hydrant and minimize kinking. This method is optimal for areas with predictable second and third arriving companies. While tank water fast attack is an option to consider, this may be a go-to when you recognize the need for immediate water supply. It allows crews to remain intact and go to work with little delay for fire suppression and rescue operations, while setting up for the ability to have quick access to a continuous water supply. It also ensures that an apparatus will be pumping the hydrant, which will maximize the efficiency of the water system and provide redundancy should high flows and master streams be required. The front load method keeps crews intact for forward deployment, gets water quickly downrange, ensures that the hydrant is pumped for maximum efficiency, 
and gets more people to the fire faster for them.